Welcome back to our CNC tutorial series. Today we're talking about G90 and G91, two essential G codes that deal with positioning systems. We're going to explore how the CNC coordinate system works and how these codes determine whether we use absolute or relative coordinates. Let's get started. Before we dive into G90 and G91, let's quickly review the CNC coordinate system. Just like in mathematics, CNC machines commonly operate in a 3D space with X, Y, and Z axes. The machine's zero or home position is usually the reference point for all movements. Depending on the machine and its setup, this can be the machine's physical limits or a specific location on the workpiece. Now, when we instruct the machine to move, we can use either absolute or relative coordinates. Absolute coordinates are based on the machine's zero point. Relative coordinates, on the other hand, are based on the current position of the tool. The G code for absolute positioning is G90. When G90 is active, all coordinates given are taken as distances from the machine's zero point. In this example, if we're in G90 mode and the machine reads this line of G code, it will move the tool to the position of 10 units along the X axis, 20 units along the Y axis, and five units along the Z axis, all relative to the zero point. The counterpart to G90 is G91, which stands for incremental or relative positioning. In this mode, all coordinates are interpreted as distances from the current position of the tool. For instance, with the line of G code here, if we're in G91 mode, the machine will move the tool 10 units along the x-axis, 20 units along the y-axis, and 5 units along the z-axis, all from its current location. Both positioning modes have their uses. G90 is useful when you have a well-defined work coordinate system and want to make movements based on that. G91 can be handy when you want to make a series of movements relative to the last position, without having to calculate the absolute coordinates. That's it for today's exploration of G90 and G91. In our next episode, we'll continue our journey through the world of G-codes. Until then, happy machining!